Hi, this is David Caban, and uh, in this video, I want to demonstrate a really awesome piece of software that will save you a lot of time and money in the future. And best of all, the software is absolutely free. As you can see on my screen, it says Prey. That is the name of the software, Prey, P R E Y. And you can find it at PreyProject.com. You can either type that into your browser or click the link below. It's a free service, a free software that you install on your laptop, on your um, smartphone, on your tablets, and uh, you activate it whenever a device is stolen. And then it will start tracking that device so that you can recover that device. It is a free service. It is uh, pretty awesome. So I'm going to walk through a quick demonstration of it here. Basically what you do is you go to PrayProject.com and then you download the software. So you click on download and then you choose the correct installer for your particular operating system. Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, Mac. Uh, even uh, if you have an um, iPad or an iPhone, you can get it from the App Store. Even on the Android market, there's a version of it as well. Once you've got it installed, then you um, configure it and you create an account on Prey. And again, it's free. It's absolutely free. And uh, and then you only need to activate it when a device is actually misplaced. So let's take an example here. I'm going to, let, let's walk through a scenario. Let's suppose that uh, you've got your laptop and your smartphone in your car. You drive into your driveway, you stop the car, you leave the devices on the front seat of the car because you're only hoping to go in for a couple of minutes, but you go inside and you get distracted and uh, it takes about an hour to get back outside and you go back outside and your computer and phone are gone. Someone has come by and stolen your phone and your computer out of your car. So what do you do? Well, you probably freak out. I would freak out. I'm sure you'd freak out. But um, when you have Prey installed on those devices, then there's less of a freak out. There's still a freak out, but there's less of a freak out because all you need to do then is get to any website, any um, uh, computer that has web access so that you can get to the website of PreyProject.com. And then you log into your account. And when you log in, this is what you're going to see. Um, <clears throat> you're going to see the devices that you have active uh, in with Prey software. Now, uh, I've actually started the tracking on my laptop here, and so you, that's what you would see, tracked, waiting for a report. But if your devices have not been turned on for that, then they'll just say this, tracked since about one month ago, or they won't have any information there. Reports, zero. There you go. And it tells you some information about your particular devices. Notice my desktop's an XP, yep, kind of old. My laptop's newer, Windows 7, okay? Now, with the free account, it says you get three devices and ten reports. So you can see I have a few reports here that I've done from running my laptop for a while. <clears throat> and we'll take a look at those reports in a moment. But I want to show you what you do when you come in when a device is stolen or misplaced. So I'll use my Dell desktop as an example. I would come in here and I would switch this switch right here from OK to Missing. And then it lets me know or it asks me how often do I want to get reports. In this case, every 25 minutes, every 10 minutes, whatever I want to do in terms of how often I want reports. And then what information do I want to gather? I can gather uh, geographic information on this device uh, based on Wi-Fi access points. And I can go down the list here of uh, choices. Now, I'm going to describe those more with my laptop. A, a desktop you may you'll have a harder time recovering unless you have Wi-Fi built into it, which I do for my my desktop, um, because most people are going to steal laptops because they're easier to get rid of and more valuable. So let's take an example here of my laptop. I've already turned it on so you can see what kind of information is being tracked. I'm tracking every 10 minutes. I've logged it as missing, even though I'm sitting in front of it. And uh, look at the information that I can gather. I can gather geographic information uh, so I can locate it, locate the device. I can, I've activated the network piece. You can activate or deactivate this. Get nearby Wi-Fi hotspots. So isn't that cool? Just think about that. The thief steals your device. You run inside, fire up your desktop computer, go to PreyProject.com and activate it. And within an hour or less, you have your first report that lets you know 
the person turned it on at the local Starbucks. Now, wouldn't that be cool? That'd be great to know, wouldn't it? You can trace the route of uh, the electronic route, not the driving route that the person took. And then uh, you can actually log some information here, like the sc it'll take a screenshot of what the person's doing on the on the computer. Uh, if, if they're modifying any files, you can have that uh, logged as well. You can even turn on the webcam. This is the best piece right here, because what it will try to do is take a picture of the thief uh, from the webcam and uh, and store that piece. I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty pretty cool. You can also turn on some other items here. I would not recommend doing these right away. These are things you would do later. You can turn on an alarm so that uh, for 30 seconds so that you can find the device if it's nearby, which might be useful if you're in a, you know, a mall or something like that, a food court kind of situation. Uh, alert, you can let the thief know uh, once they open the computer that it uh, is... Got a, it'll have a display on it that you can modify the text of. You can lock it down. You can secure it. There's other things here. But you wouldn't do these in, immediately. You want to get reports first. So what happens when the, you get a report? Well, the reports are stored here in PreyProject.com, but you also get an email. So you can activate it, and then you can go about your business and wait for an email to arrive. And then when an email arrives, then you click the link, and you come into Prey Project and you look at it. You look at the information. So let's just take one of these. I'm just going to take one of the older ones first. Let's say this one here. And you can see I've got a pretty uh, goofy expression on my face, but that's a picture from the webcam uh, of me sitting in front of my own laptop. And then here's what I was working on. It's a screenshot. I was doing some typing in Microsoft Word. And then it's got some other information here, what pro programs were running, et cetera, et cetera, Wi-Fi information, a complete trace here of the uh, location of the device, okay? Electronic trace. Uh, let me try another one here. Let's see, this one, yeah, this one has me and my cat. Uh, one of the cats walked in front of the computer at that moment, wanted some uh, loving, so I gave him some scratches. And then um, here's another one. Here's another example. The most recent report 12 minutes ago is uh, me with a really goofy expression <laughs> and uh, me d looking through the um, Prey website in preparation for showing you this. So anyway, uh, this is uh, a really awesome piece of software and again, it's free. That's the best part. <clears throat> so you would activate that and then, the oh, let me show you one other thing. When you're in there, it actually gives you information about your computer um, here, let me give you an example of a report here with the goofy one. It actually shows you here um, your MAC address and other things so that you can prove this is actually your computer. That's the best part. You can prove that to the police. Anyway, um, back at the main screen here, tracking the devices, on the free account, you get 10 reports, which means that it will uh, record, it'll keep recording reports, but it'll only show you the last 10 reports that have been done. If you want more uh, instantaneous information and uh, you want more reports then you would want to upgrade to the pro account and that's where you start paying but you really don't need to do that until you get to a point where the device is either misplaced or stolen and it's real easy to pay for it you just go to the account tab click upgrade to pro and then here's the different payment plans and uh, and you can see here that uh, you can go up and up and up. Most people would never go that far. But you would only pay when you get to a point where a device is misplaced or stolen. So now, um, now let me just show you a couple quick things here of the, the different pieces of the active mode and, and what you get when you pay. 100, point, 100 reports per device, on demand, new reports or perform actions in real time. Uh, two minute intervals instead of 10, you go that small, which is uh, useful if you are actually tracking it. But here's the big thing here. We will always offer free control panel accounts for anyone. They can hold up to three devices, store a maximum of 10 reports per device. So again, this is free. It's called Prey, and you can get it at PreyProject.com. Simply click the link right below here, and uh, you can take a look at it or just dial the address up on your own browser and do it that way. When you're in, I highly recommend you go in and read some of the recovery stories. They're just exciting to read, um, to know that someone got their device back. I'll give you an example of one here, uh, real simple. This guy here, lost and found in Romania. Uh, 
He was in Romania, date stolen the 20th of August, received, he got it back the next day. It was stolen from his car trunk, a uh, Mac Air 13-inch and a iPad. Wow. The police would still be looking at the police, the surveillance cameras if he hadn't installed Prey on both devices. First report was in 24 hours. Police recovered it a few minutes later after I called them. Then I have photos of the burglar. They came in minutes to help me get back the devices, and he's very very happy. And you can read more at the link below. There's great stories here. You just got to go through and see them, and I think that will help convince you you need to install Prey on your devices. Um, so that's my quick overview of Prey. Again, it's at PreyProject.com. Simply click the link below. It's a free service that you can use to help you in the event that your device is stolen. I pray, P-R-A-Y, that uh, your devices are never stolen, uh, and I pray that mine are never stolen. But if they are, I hope that we both have Prey, P-R-E-Y, on our devices, and we can activate them and recover them quickly. That's the goal. So thanks for watching. Again, this is David Caban. I hope you found this useful.